Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to the Tuesday, July 11th, 2023 Crosswords. Go for that 1,229 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Tuesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, Hades, Herbs, Achoo, uh, this is Elmer, this is Seeds. It's probably a coal, rhyme, good, and do you. All right, so secret is I had to factory reset my computer today, so I've lost some settings. So it's, it's a nice time to show you my settings though. Uh, when I change direction, I like to uh, stay in the same square. I do like spacebar toggling between across and down, which I wasn't doing. The start of the word, I like to backspace into the previous word. If I made a typo on the previous one, I do skip over filled squares. I do jump to the next clue, I think. I don't like playing the sound on solve, though. I don't think I need puzzle milestones either. All right, those are the settings. You, you saw them here first. Uh, <laughs> we got a full 5x5 five five grid here. Uh, you know, I should also change. Uh... <laughs> You're watching me. Uh... Real struggle here. After uh, it was a, it was a long day where I was just resetting my computer and trying to get it back to the way it was. But that's all over now. <laughs> okay. Tissue or miss you for this clue. This clue rhymes with uh, vaguely rhymes with tissue and miss you. This clue. I love sours. Big fan of sours. Nice. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Aaron M. Rosenberg today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's see what uh, Aaron M. Rosenberg has in store for us. Let's get into it. This is based, confer upon, bestow. Recent use inhalers, asthma. Run just for the exposure, streak. Work intermissions for Brits. Tea times? No. Glimpse is a spy. Got any news magazines? Sorry, we're strapped. Something. Visually assessed. Maybe it's eyed up. Ballpark figures is estimates. Soviet symbol. Sitcom. Oh, this is ETAs or something. This is ALF. Yeah. Yell. It's kind of fun. Slow mo. Hex not question mark. And whacker target, a weed whacker, like a document that can be changed. This is an elm, and this is die, without purposes, idly, shout out to Momo, editable, strapped for time. This is Ross Perot, doesn't measure up, so to speak. This is wakes, got any fitness magazines? Sorry, we're something. This is pro, out of something. This is Ilhan Omar. I don't know this. The birds. Tea breaks, I see. Red star. ERAs. <laughs> that kind of ballpark. Rizzo the rat. This is St. Olaf. This is pails and fetal position. Lil Nas X. One out tempting to outsmart a bridge toll. It's a billy goat, right? If I could type. Tucks away. Maybe it's stows. This is jump two. Like some flaws fatal. These are refs. Got any celebrity magazines? Alas, we're something. Fugitive. Outlaw. This is people. Genuflex is meals. Something is wrong here. Steven Yen. Leap to. Stargate. This is tap. Got any LGBTQ magazines? Unfortunately, we're something. This is probably loam. Against is anti. This is lacking. This is a Rhea. Variety. It's St. Olav. <laughs> this is Etsy. BLTs. A putt. Out of shape and which. Okay. This is an ace. End. On, maybe. Finish first is win. Force. Sheer. This is SPF. Shade. Maybe it's Hue. This is probably pure. 
fathers or sires here. Short something. Outbursts that may be entirely symbolic. A cuss word, like in the comics. Missing out. The better of mentally out wit. This is an egot, I think. Decided one would. That is a dock. Chose to. This is a gong. It was a Rhea. Don Ho. R. Short a few people. Alright, so we've got magazine title puns basically today. Time, shape, variety, out, and people. Confess, never heard of shape or out, but I feel like I don't see magazines really anywhere these days. You know, like where do you see magazines? The doctor's office or something? Time, variety, and people I know, but I don't know shape or out. Interesting that out is also an out of shape. Um, but these are certainly very legitimate in the language phrases. Strapped for time, out of shape, lacking variety, missing out, and short a few people. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. Nice phrases, all ending with some kind of magazine. All common words, I guess, but that's why they're both magazine titles and in these phrases. Um, yeah, let's look through this thing, see if we can uh, learn something. This is like a misdirect of a misdirect. Normally when I see ballpark figures, I think it's gonna be baseball, and then it's estimates. Then I was like, oh, ETAs, estimated times of arrival. But no, this is literally a baseball park. The earned run average. That's an evocative clue. I like the way that's written there. You've also got uh, witches somewhere in this, right? October, clued as a Halloween month, crossing witch, hex nut, that's also a nice clue. That's kind of fun. Yeah, this is a uh, 14 letter two sevens for this one. So it's interesting to break that up in the middle there. All okay. Yeah, that's okay. I do like Steven Yun and the movie Minetti. Federal Reserve Banks are feds. I would include that as the federal agents, I guess, but. Run just for the exposure. Well, I don't think the word plays that funny there. I don't think it's really all that punny. But, okay. Tea breaks. You know, hammer and sickle seem way more iconic than red star, but... Sure, red star is... often historically associated with communist ideology. Alpha is always a bit creepy, I think. Just because it's in Alpha is kind of in the uncanny valley, you know. And on, it's also all right. I like this. This is evocative. First of all, it's nice. Phil. Second of all, it's like you know, in the comics, you might use uh, what, what is it called? Grav, Graf flex. <laughs> Comic curse symbols. What's it called? Grawlix. <laughs> Grawlix. Also known as Obscenicon. Typographical symbol symbols or other unpronounceable characters that replaces a profanity. And I don't know if you could use a profanity like that, but Grawlix, that's a good word to know. Yeah, we've got refs and feds and stuff like this in this one. Yeah, I think it's a pretty pretty decent Tuesday. Uh, nice that there's all these phrases that end in... I mean, I guess there are like a lot of magazines out there, but I guess 
I guess these are, are really pretty, pretty big ones. I guess, probably. <laughs> Again, I don't see magazines that often, to be fair. It'll be, uh, I'd call it a normal time for a Tuesday. Try to be under 3, but 3.18 is, is pretty normal, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, let's do the plus word. I had to reset up these scenes in my in my software here, so they should be slightly different than before. But here's a spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. It's British mini crossword means wordle at the end. And uh, hopefully I've set up the scene reasonably. It looks not that great, actually. Ah, oh well. Let's Let's just do it here then. And I will fix it for tomorrow. That's, uh, what, Kyoto, Yemen, this is overt, keyed up, not sure, tidiness, not once, never, this is amend, whoops, sorry, when I hit backspace, poem part is a verse, maybe? This is uh, enter. All right, that looks okay. And this is a smirk. Smirk. Yeah, I'm sort of out of sorts. I spent a long time today wrestling with this computer. Uh, and I certainly lost some stuff on the uh, factory reset, but such is life, I guess. Such is life. Nothing too British today. Nice little smirk there at the end. Anyway, last thing we do before we go is take a look at the mini leaderboard for tomorrow, where we've got just me at the moment. These days, my friends aren't doing the mini too early. Maybe I, uh, <laughs> maybe I should do another round of uh, invites to the leaderboard, and then I don't have the secret one set up either. What is it? Is it this? Nobody on the secret one anyway. Anyway. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.